Hi, my name is Quinn Kuslich, and today I wanted to cover creating layered, complex, ambient sound systems using the sound cue editor in Unreal. George Lucas once said that sound is 50% of the movie going experience. I can argue that it applies to games and VR experiences as well. With this experience, we have multiple different scenes, each with different moods that we need to express through visuals and audio. I'm in charge of creating the ambient audio systems for each underwater and also the boat scene. So I wanted to run you through how I created them and how I create layered ambient sounds in Unreal. The first thing I did before I started looking for sound effects was figure out which tone I wanted to convey with each scene. For the boat scene, I wanted something a little bit more lighthearted, open. I wanted the user to drop into this experience knowing they were in for an adventure. For the underwater scene, I wanted something a little bit more mysterious. I wanted the user to know that they're in a dangerous place, but they're in no harm as long as they follow the instructions given to them by the instructor. This was really hard to do because I needed to figure out how to make something feel uneasy, yet also feel calming at the same time. For reference, I analyzed the game Abuzu by 505 Games. This is a beautiful and ambient game that provides calming tracks as you explore an ocean. I thought applying the same feel to our diving experience would help it be more open to a user. Now that I've showed the tone and the target, I want to show you how I put these together. The first thing I did was drag in the sound effects. So I had a few basic waves and some seagulls chirping, general wind ambience, and then other kinds of waves. The point was is I didn't want too many of one thing or not enough of one thing. These sound effects need to be layered on top of each other. Then I created a sound cue. Now a sound cue is technically a blueprint, but it uses a completely different language than blueprint. The naming convention for that is the same as a normal sound effect, except I usually call it a system. So this would be QK system test. Now when I load inside of here, you'll see the sound cue editor. The only thing that's inside of here is an output node. Here I can control the volume and the pitch, among other things that I'm not going to even talk about. After I set up the sound cue, I dragged in audio tracks and then I created some nodes just so I can show you guys the most important nodes for creating these systems, as well as a looping node to make sure the system continuously loops as we change it. These are the four soundtracks I had starting out. And what I basically did with it is I experimented. So I would take audio source, I would take two audio sources and I would plug them into the exact same mixer. So now these are going to loop on top of each other. And then I can easily test that out by dragging them into the output. See, that sounds like that. So then I would stop it and go, okay, well, what if I add another output to this, right? And then play that. Now there's three sound effects on top of each other. And then maybe I'd create another mixer node, whereas this one only has two inputs. And then I want to take both of these mixer nodes and I want to crossfade them. So therefore, they're fading together and one of which is more important than the other. We can set the parameter name there, but I decided not to do anything with it. That sounds like this. It's a lot of testing out audio to figure out what works best for the given scene and what needs to be factored in. We can also take other... We can also take other sound effects like seagulls chirping and waves and splashes up against the boat, but I'd save those out for later. The last note I wanted to cover was the random note. So let's say I have this and then I took this and I just copied it. And now I'm gonna move a few of the values around. So instead I'm gonna plug three into here, I'm gonna plug four up here, then I'm gonna plug output one into this mixer node and output two into that mixer node, while also plugging output one into this middle node here. Now it's completely different. I drag this out and I drag the crossfade by parameter from the bottom and the crossfade parameter from the top into this random node. And then I drag that through this looping node and into the output. Now when I press play, I have a completely different system each time. And this can go on forever. You can create multiple. Now I wanted to take you to the sound systems I actually created. This one is for the ocean surface. I have ambient audio for waves crashing, and then I also have some sound effect tracks that I have going through a random node, looping, and then a modulator to make sure they're slightly louder than the waves and the ambient audio in the top. That sounds a lot. This sounds really great when you put them all together.
That way you can play this as many times as you want and you'll never hear the same sounds twice. Unless you were to play it like 20 times. This one's the underwater system. This is, this is my darker, more mysterious tone, but I also included those same vibrant tones at the bottom to make sure the user knew they were safe in the experience. Every now and again you hear a wave crash across the surface of the water and the sound resonates down to the diver on the rig. I really wanted to create an immersive system that let the user know that they are underwater. <laughs> now, I am not a composer. I grabbed all of these audio elements from Envato Elements and then mixed them together. The greatest thing about the Unreal sound cue editor is that pretty much anyone can put things together as long as they have an understanding of the audio systems they're trying to replicate. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video and I hope you all have a really great week.